Hey guys, this is Steve with Good Guys to Great Men. Just a real quick video for you to tell me, uh, to tell you about my weekend. I went to Saratoga, Wyoming, where there are some hot springs, uh, hot mineral baths. And at this resort, my girlfriend and I were sitting out on these big chairs around these, these pools of hot water. And uh, we're just laughing at, at this couple that came by. They're about our age, mid-50s. Although she looked like she was mid fifties, pretty good shape, you know, not bad looking for a middle-aged woman. Um, but her boyfriend, as she called him, her boyfriend, he looked like he was about 65, maybe 10 years older and uh, kind of puttering around with his cell phone. And he had a lot of stuff going on. Anyway, she was nagging the crap out of him. And so this video is called, uh, how not to talk to your man. This video is for women this week. And uh, my girlfriend and I were watching her talk to him. He was messing with his phone. He had hurt his foot. He, he was hungry. So she started treating him like a little boy. She started talking to him uh, like, hey, little mister, you, you should just get your little butt on over there and go get an ice pack. Oh, and get me that. Get me a drink while you're there. If you can handle that, she says, if you can handle that. And she was using a bunch of other derogatory, domineering, maternal language toward this guy. Of course, he was allowing it, right? He, he hasn't been to one of our programs, the stuff that you and I talk about, but he was just taking it. He was taking it right in the shorts and he kept his shoulders forward and his head down and she just kept beating at him with all kinds of instructions and commands and demands and emasculating comments. And my girlfriend and I were just laughing at this. We almost uh, got caught, you know, talking about her behind her back, but it was ridiculous, man. And this is what happens when you start doing this men's work and you start looking at what's really going on inside you and in your relationship with women and your committed romantic uh, intimate relationships. You start to notice dynamics that you have never ever seen before. You see how women talk to men. You see how other men are talking to women. You'll be at a restaurant and at a table and listening to an argument going on and, and the more aware you become, the more confident you become in in what the masculine role is in, in keeping things going the right direction, you almost want to take the guys aside and go, look, brother, I need to talk to you. You need to stop this. And, and I want to do the same for the women. And my girlfriend wanted to get up and talk to this lady who was just being horrible to this guy. Of course, he was accepting it. So my offer to you is to, if you haven't started doing this work, give me a phone call and let's talk about the emasculating, domineering, controlling kinds of behavior you may be putting up with with women in your life and you don't know what to say, you don't know what to do, you don't know how to respond, and inevitably you may react like an eighth grader, like I did. In 28 years of my marriage, I, I know all the tricks of how we react the wrong way, but I know the secrets now. I know how to turn this around, and I would love to talk to you about it. So I hope this is a helpful video, and to the ladies watching, I'm not throwing you under the bus. We all do the same thing, but I just wanted to tell this story, and uh, it just cracked me up. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye.